I'm Shredmaster Scott, and this video is called How Would Bach Play Slayer? We'll take the thrash metal classic Raining Blood and reinterpret it using Bach's Prime, Inversion, Retrograde, and Retrograde Inversion. Say what? <laughs> Counterpoint is the interaction between two or more musical voices. Bach's fugues and inventions are often cited as the best examples to hear this device in action. We'll be using Bach's prime, inversion, retrograde, and retrograde inversion to see how we might have approached the music of Slayer. The question is, will Slayer rain blood on Bach's world, or will the Baroque master reign supreme? All right, let's get straight to it. First up is the prime, which is just the original riff. You could make an argument this is an E minor of some sort, but it's very chromatic. You got an A sharp, F natural, and a G sharp which all fall outside the E minor key signature. Next up, we're gonna flip it upside down. And this is what Bach called the inversion. Sometimes I feel a blood red rain coming on. So if the original riff goes up, the inversion comes down in the same interval, but you just go the opposite direction. This is also known as contrary motion and is probably my favorite out of all of them. Next, we've got the retrograde, which is the original riff backwards. If you start from the back end, and go forward, you can see that's just the original Raining Blood riff. So if you don't have an Ouija board handy and you want to release the demons in your life, just play it backwards. <laughs> now let's move on to the final variation here, which is the retrograde inversion. Now here we take the retrograde and flip it upside down. <laughs> So the retrograde goes up a minor second here, and we're heading down a minor second in the retrograde inversion. Down a major third in the retrograde, up a major third in the retrograde inversion. Now I bet you're thinking to yourself, but Shred, how do these all sound together? And that's exactly what I've done. The 20th century composer Arnold Schoenberg, who basically invented serialism, took Bach's ideas of counterpoint and put them into an atonal context. And since the Rainy Blood Riff is so chromatic, this works really well. So let's have a look at what Arnold Schoenberg might have done to Bach's interpretation of Slayer. I know what you're thinking. That sounds amazing. So here's all the parts together at once. I'm in Logic Pro here. And uh, we've got the prime up here in this voice, which is the original. We've got the retrograde down in the bottom. And the horn part down here is doing uh, retrograde augmentation, which augmentation is just extending the length of the notes. Your time slips away. Remember, music theory should just be a slave to your own creative vision. Pump it and dump it. Until next time, shred till you're dead. Yes, I'm recording this in a van.